Did you fart? God almighty son. <laughs> you fired you ever do that? Ah, damn. I told Henry I want to get some strawberries, but uh, I've called all around from here to Timbuktu, and I kind of missed the boat on it. Cole called and says he feels bad about the strawberries, but he's got lots of other stuff we might can use. He ain't going to be here, so he just told us to run in, get the forklift, run to the cooler, get it out, and rock and roll. That's easy enough. Henry, Kenny, and Tickle, they're moving the eight submarine pots, getting them all set up, and we're going to make lots of brandy and stuff. And with that being said, it's going to take massive amounts of fruit. Come in here. Heck yeah. That was nice. Look at all that. My dad used to make this recipe that true watermelon brandy without using any sugar, you know, just using the fruit. Them babies are right. So now that we got some watermelons, I'm really wanting to make this really high end and really good brandy. That's awesome. What's in the edibles barrel? No, it says non-edible. Oh. It ain't pineapples, but it's the cores, and they yeah. just, all they do is core them out. Is it sweet? Yeah, that's pretty good. Really? That'll make good moonshine then. How are we gonna use this? There's not even much meat on there. I know, but they still sugar in that right there. I haven't really heard about a whole lot of other people doing pineapples, so I don't even know how that's gonna turn out. But it's important to me to do things that other people aren't really doing. You want to load the pineapples first so we can put them on the back of the truck? And then yeah, we'll... you may have to ride on that pallet and hold that barrel while we get out of here. Why? You going to drive that fast? Well, I'm right. She ain't going to be breaking the sound barrier, are you? We hit the mother load on these watermelons. We got a lot of fruit. And one thing's for sure, I'm going to have to come up with a way to turn all this fruit into pulp. I'm going to go get the watermelons. I'll be back. So I'm thinking about just like a beer can crusher, you know, but like a beer can crusher for fruit. Oh, man, watermelon goodness right there. That's going to make some good moonshine. I got watermelons, and I got some pineapples. Look how juicy these are. Look at that, squirted me in the face. I'm going to haul them all the way to Virginia, but Henry, Kenny, and Tickle, those boys are pretty set in their ways. And here I am coming in with three bins of watermelons and one big trash can full of pineapples. Put that thing up and let's go. But Henry really likes to make brandies. That's something that we had in common right off the rip. And I'm hoping that they're going to really dig this. Oh, man, we're going to be doing a watermelon crawl. If we're going to make brandies and stuff, it'd be great to have like a ginormous beer can crusher smash up all this fruit. I never thought about that. It'd probably work. We're going to go over here to my buddy Toot, and we're going to get some metal and stuff. He can fabricate anything. We can't find what we need here. something wrong. Hey, what do you say, fellas? What's going on? Uh, what y'all into? Man, we're working on a crazy-ass project. We need some help. You think you can help us out? I'll see what I can do. All right, Toot. Now, I ain't no artist. I can't sing and I can't dance. But let's just say that somewhere in here I want a piece of metal that stays there all the time. And then I want some kind of handle that comes down to a plate. And so when you move this handle up and down, it smashes this piece of metal against this piece of metal. And then I want like some sort of way to capture the juice. And that's the basic idea. Okay. I think we can come up with what you want. Show me what you got. So here's a piece oh, of plate that might that's, work. That's perfect right there. You got two of them? I got two of these for sure. Perfect. About this frame that you want, and I think legs might be better off for you. So I've got plenty of these short drops here. We can weld them together. Weld. To make one leg. And also, we need like some one by one tubing or something. I think we can handle that. Heck yeah, man. I can't tell you how much this means to me. I'm just glad I can help you out. Oh, you done hooked me up. We've came to the right place. You ready? Yeah. One, two, three, go. All right. Man, I can't tell you how much I appreciate this, too. Oh, yeah, no problem, brother. You really helped us out. We're going to haul ass to Virginia with this stuff, so I'll send you a picture or something like that. We, we ain't good. hauling ass to Virginia. You, you know, I got to work. He always bails on me. What's hey, up with that? I got, I got a regular job. That's why I ain't getting half the money. Oh. 
You're getting three quarters of it. It pays to have all the brains in the outfit. Oh, oh man. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I'll let you fellers take that up in the truck. Well, now that we got all our supplies, we need to be going to Virginia. I owe you one, brother. Just remember, when, you, when it comes time. Oh, we got you. You ain't even got to worry about nothing. I'm really nervous showing up with these watermelons instead of the strawberries. They totally expect the strawberries. We got a really good operation going right now. And the last thing I want to do is screw that up in any way. I might not have a dang trailer load of strawberries, but I got a trailer load of watermelons. Hopefully, these guys will go for it when I get here. I got a plan to make some watermelon moonshine. We're going to call it Green Lizard. This watermelon moonshine recipe goes back hundreds of damn years. Back then, they didn't have the sugar to add to it. They made some high-end brandy. They just might not have got a big yield out of it, a big return. My dad and my buddy Tony used to make this stuff all the time, and that's how I know about it. I'm super excited to try this recipe out, make something that these guys ain't never seen before. I guarantee you it'll make you do the watermelon crawl. Damn, what's this get? Get in your lane, dude. Damn. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get out of body. Ah. Oh, God damn. Brian, damn. This is a mess. Damn, we lost pineapple, too. I'm on the road. All of a sudden, this van just damn starts coming over into my lane. I think this guy was on the phone or something. I'm not really sure. But if I hadn't been paying attention, it would have been a head-on collision, and the watermelons wouldn't have mattered. Thankfully, only a few of the watermelons busted. I damn salvaged what I could of the watermelons, pushed the boxes up on the trailer. Uh, what the hell is that bastard stuck on? Uh, now what am I going to do about this? It's split right apart. They're not supposed to do that. Maybe there's some tape in the truck. <sighs> 90 mile an hour high speed duct tape right there, buddy. One thing's for sure, my name's not Good Luck Chuck. Never in a million years would I have thought I had to strap those things down. When things go right, it's almost odd. I really started noticing this about the time I cut my fingers off. Every time I start to feel like I'm hitting a home run, I need to go get a bulletproof room or something because I'm about to hit the fan. Golly, look at that. I can't believe it took these things busting all over the highway for me to taste one. Golly, that's sweet. That is the best watermelon I've had in years. Damn, it's almost the same to turn it into whiskey. I mean, juicy, look at that. Yeah. That's gonna make some good whiskey. But now, we're gonna go to Virginia. 